What's up guys? So, I never did a video like this. And bear with me because they're doing some testing of fire alarms. Muscle milk, this is what I drink for protein after workouts. So let's get into some things. A lot of people is always complimenting my skin. My skin's come a long way. A lot of people is always complimenting my skin, how nice it is, blah, blah, blah. They ask me for advice and I give it to them because I think I've been doing skincare content or skin, I've been into skincare before content when I was a teenager because I was always trying to get rid of things. I used to have like really bad acne and hyperpigmentation and I'm still combating that to this day. And I'm glad that brands now reach out to me by just telling my testimony and using different products and stuff. So shout out to all the brands. However, I'm an actor, I'm a model, and I do a bunch of content in front of the camera. And to enhance my already good skin, my already okay skin, I wear makeup. And I wanna show you guys, especially the fellas out there, that enhancing the way you look is okay. You know, girls get to wear lashes, wear wigs, weave, and get BBLs. When I get in front of the camera or I'm filming an audition, sometimes I have to, if, especially in front of like green lights and big studio lights that your skin, just having nice skin, is not gonna always cut it. Unless it's a part of the character, but sometimes you need that little extra enhancement. What I'm doing right now is I'm gonna show you the steps of how I create a solid, natural looking face without looking like I have makeup on, because that's the goal, right? We wanna look like our skin is flawless without looking like we have makeup on, caked up, any of that. I've been doing this for a few years. I've been into, and it's so funny. It's so funny how much we grow into who we are and accept who we are as we grow older. I turn 25 and I'm just like, fuck everything. Like nothing can stop me but God, you know what I mean? So I've been wanting to show a video like this for so long, but I've always been fear of being judged or feel or fear of like, I don't know. I, I guess we all, all are trying to be accepted in this world, but Fuck being accepted, do you, be happy. The only person who should be accepting you is you, right? Live your authentic life. Give me a compliment over these braids, okay? <laughs> We're going to be using today. This video is brought to you by, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding, I'm just going, it's not. So I went to Sephora and I picked up Fenty Beauties by Rihanna, um, East Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I wanna show you how to create a good base, solid, natural, this is great. It's not full coverage. It's just to blur the skin, to make it look even and good. And I love it. So we're gonna use some of this. Um, I have a beauty blender where you can buy from literally anywhere, any drugstore, Ulta, Sephora, wherever you can buy these anywhere. Um, I like to wet mine because it gets all spongy and soft and I feel like it applies onto the skin better. So I'm just going to get this wet, I squeeze it like so. Our skin is not all one color, right? Like my T-zone, all of this, all of like this area is lighter than the orbital areas of my, of my skin. So like, you know, for instance, if you can see, I have like some marks and like little things. I have unevenness over here. Um, So we just wanna correct that, right? So what we're going to do is I have two different foundations and I also have the makeup forever which I normally apply underneath my eyes because it's a little lighter um so I want to just show you I normally start with the eyes and then I work my way around because I feel like it's better like sometimes I'll put it underneath my eyes and I'm like oh actually that looks cool so what I'm gonna do is take the beauty blender I put a little bit on and sometimes, honestly, I like to get really precise, so I'll just tap in there. Let's do that. Let's lose my finger, just in case you don't want to go to the beauty building, you don't have that, whatever. You put this, I put some of that on, and it's... So I did my skincare already. I washed my face, I put my serums on, I put sunscreen on. This serum, this sunscreen from Super Goop is really good because I feel like it's a really good primer for the skin while also protecting your skin from the sun, of course. I got this here and I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes. And you know, the little creases, like, get in, there, get, get in there. You can already tell the difference, like this side to that side, boom, boom, pow. 
and you'll just do it to the opposite side. You pour a little bit on there. And then I mean, I'm, you can already see the difference, right? I hope you can, because I can. And if you can't, then I'm doing something wrong, and I shouldn't be doing this. And it's natural, right? You can't really tell, like, unless somebody swipes underneath my eye with a paper towel, you can't really tell, and that's what I love about it. And I feel good, right? I feel great. But then we go around to the skin, like, underneath the eyes are good. Honestly, you can just walk outside if you feel okay with your skin, blah, blah, blah. But once again, I have an audition, I have a shoot, I do this. So I'll take the beauty blender, we're going to be using, I have color 21, I guess that's what it's called. You know, I, I, it's so taboo around makeup and just self-care around for guys. And I don't know why. We'll talk more about that. So here we go. We're going to put somewhere a little bit on here. Like so, so, so. Build it. You build it up. So we go start on the right side of my face so I can show you the difference. You know, I just boom, pow, 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 pow. Oh, and then with the beauty blender, remember it's it's damp, so you can just tap it. Just tap it like this, and just keep going around until you feel comfortable with the way your skin looks. Um, yeah, makeup for men, makeup in general has just been like, you know, it's okay, like, it's fine. We all are on social media, we all wanna show our best selves. If you're going to a wedding, a prom, it's okay, like, F the judgment, really, for real. F the judgment, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. And you can already tell the difference, right? You can already see the difference. Um, and I just build like little areas that I need. Boom, boom, pow, boom, boom, pow, boom, 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 pow. Put it right here, here to hairline. I kind of avoid going so close because, you know, our hairline is a different color. Um, so it kind of creates this dimension, which you should want to keep because it keeps it natural looking. I hate that so much. Sometimes, you know, go in the air a little bit, go in the air, kind of bring it into the neck too. It's okay, you know, you don't want to look like a ghost town, you know, on the face and then the neck, you like, that's weird, that's odd. That's, that's suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. All right, so look, look at the difference. This side, you know, you can see. To this side, boom, boom, and then boom. You can just see a difference. It's very subtle, it's not too much, right? It's not too much, not too much, not too much. But it gives this type of blurring effect with the product said, like, since you got this right. And like, I know, look, listen guys, like you don't want to go into a makeup store, Sephora, Ulta, wherever, drugstore, and be looking in the foundation now. I get it, it's awkward, you don't want people to judge you. Once again, fuck judging it, fuck what other people think about you, because at the end of the day, you're gonna see these people for two seconds and then you're gone, you're out of there, whatever, it's about you. But it shouldn't be this thing that we look down upon, it shouldn't, it, it really shouldn't. First off, the first people to be wearing makeup and all that stuff were men to wear heels and dresses and stuff back in the ancient days when we were performing on stage and stuff, like we were doing that. I'm just gonna finish the, the other side. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here, a little bit more, and then just build again. You know, it's not too much. It's not like going crazy. But look at my skin in comparison to the beginning, right? Um, and this is basically what I'll, you know, I'll be okay. I'll be satisfied with this. And normally I have more on. Like when I'm on set, it's a lot more. But like if I'm in charge of a shoot or I'm about to do a tape or something, this is what I do at home. That's it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you like this type of content, I would love to do more because there's a whole lot that I can teach you about skincare, about anything, honestly, honestly. I've been, I've been here for quite some time. Tag Fenty Beauty, cause like we love a brand deal. We will love a brand deal. All right, for real though, I'll see you next time. Cool.